The following program is brought to you by Hollywood Connection Center, a network for entertainment industry professionals. So many of my patients come in and ask me, what are the celebrities doing? What are, what are your celebrity patients doing to keep looking their best? And I would say it's all about maintenance. So my celebrity patients are coming in for minor in-office procedures, help maintain their skin through the years, reducing sun damage, um, procedures that help to tighten their skin, and all of these little maintenance procedures are procedures that they are using to keep looking their best through their 30s, 40s, into their 50s and 60s. And that's how when we see them on television, they still look like they are in their 30s or 40s and not looking like they're aging at all. So I would say it's all these little minor procedures that the celebrities are coming in and doing that no one knows about, no one recognizes, but that's how they're maintaining their look. So what's the most important thing that a patient can do to maintain their, their appearance? And I would say the most important daily thing that patients should be doing is skincare. A moisturizer um, with a, some form of exfoliant, like a Retin-A or something that turns over their skin. Um, those are really important. And making sure that they're wearing sunscreen to protect their skin from the sun damage that occurs for everyone, regardless of their skin type. So how much time does a patient need uh, if you're having a photo shoot or you're filming? Um, great question because, because I have celebrity patients that ask me this all the time. And I would say if you're going to do any in-office procedure that can create some swelling and have maybe a chance at bruising, although it really depends on the technique of the injector or, or the technique of the surgeon who's performing the procedure, I would say that you should give yourself about seven to 10 days just to be sure that any minor swelling or any minor bruising, if it occurs, um, is, is gone by the time you're ready to, to film or, or do a photo shoot or something. Um, and, and that would give you enough time to recover. Hi, I'm Dr. Jason Champagne, aesthetic facial plastic and hair restoration surgeon here in Beverly Hills, and I'm inviting you to join myhollywoodpage.com. So maintenance procedures done in the office uh, to, to turn back time or for rejuvenation, I would say that some of, the, some of the best procedures that we're doing in the office nowadays are facial fillers. Um, that can be done uh, within 20 to 30 minutes as an in-office outpatient procedure. Uh, and patients are coming in to have these done for areas of volume loss like in the cheeks or around the mouth where we start to get depressions uh, or, or flattening over time. And I would say that these procedures are, are really good at maintaining your appearance through the years. Um, they do have to be repeated every 6 to 12 months or so um, as maintenance procedures, but they really can turn back time and, and, and rejuvenate your overall facial appearance. So hair transplantation, now that's a great question. I have patients that come in all the time asking to have new hairlines, increased fullness or thickness of their hair. But I would say the main thing that you would want to know about your hair transplantation is to be, you want to be sure that it's going to look completely natural um, because things can, can look very unnatural if it's not done by, by an expert surgeon. So I would say um, do your research, make sure that you have a lot of photos that the surgeon's showing you um, and there are ways of obtaining a fully or completely natural hairline and just be sure that you're happy with with the results that the surgeon is showing you. Eyebrow hair transplantation. That's one of the most popular procedures that I'm doing currently and the reason is because patients are coming in and they're wanting those Hollywood A-list eyebrows. The celebrities who have the full thick eyebrows, they're a little unkempt, not so maintained. That's in all the rage currently and with the technology that we have we can place individual hairs to design whatever shape, high arch, low arch, straight across, any shape that you would like. I individualize to your facial features, but can give you the fullness and the thickness that you'd like. And that's what patients are coming in for right now. Facial hair transplantation. I would say that 
also men are coming in for facial hair. It's very popular. I would say over the last five years or so, beards have become very popular. And guys who can't grow a full beard have patches or just very kind of wispy hair. We can take hair from the back of their head, place it onto their face, give them a very natural looking beard or mustache, and then it's they can keep it up or, or, or shave just like their natural hair would. So I would say that that is a very common procedure that I'm doing for patients who are looking to have that full beard or that Hollywood A-list kind of jawline look. Um, it, that's, that's what they're coming in for right now. So chin and jaw enhancement. Now that's a great topic because patients come in all the time requesting the look of the Hollywood A-list jawline. Um, and I would say nowadays with the technology that we have at our fingertips, um, we're, fully des we're designing fully customized chin and jaw implants to give that crisp jawline or that chin profile that people are looking for. Um, and I would say that because we're able to customize these implants, um, it will fit you like a glove and I individualize those procedures specifically to your facial anatomy so that it gives you that enhanced jawline or that chin profile that's perfect for you. So facial symmetry is one of the most common questions that I get. How do I achieve facial symmetry or balance? And I would say that I have celebrities that come in asking me that same question. And one of the most common things that I see uh, in my practice is an imbalance in the upper portion of the face. So meaning there's a larger forehead or a hairline that's a little higher than, than it, it should be to balance off the symmetry of the face. And so a procedure that, that fixes that problem or can correct that problem is called hairline lowering. And that's a procedure where I lower the hairline onto the forehead to shorten the height of the forehead to bring everything into full balance from the chin all the way up to the hairline. Very efficient procedure for achieving that, that overall symmetry to the face. Hi. I'm Dr. Jason Champagne, aesthetic facial plastic and hair restoration surgeon here in Beverly Hills, and I'm inviting you to join myhollywoodpage.com.